Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle, round seven, puzzle four, from the 2022 Sudoku Grand Prix. And I'll explain all the Sudoku tips, tricks, and strategies as I do it. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. So I have solved these puzzles before when I did the Sudoku Grand Prix. Hopefully you've been following along. I've already done the first three puzzles and made videos of those. What I noticed about this particular puzzle, uh, I looked at the grid and I saw that the 6, 7, 8, 9 were in the same four spots in columns 2 and 8. I was like, oh, there must be some kind of trick here. And so I looked at that and go, okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, so we need a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I looked across these rows and saw this 4, 2, 5. So I knew immediately that this would be a 1, 3 naked pair. And I looked down here and saw this 1, 3, and a 2. And I knew this would be a 4, 5 naked pair. I thought that might have something to do might give me a shortcut to get through the puzzle. Um, puzzle three was pretty good for me. I felt like I solved it pretty quickly. Uh, ones and two were a little tough, so I was starting to build some more confidence. I was trying to look a little more holistically at this grid. Uh, I didn't really need this one through right away because if you look right here, the seven and the seven, uh, and this seven coming up, that has to be a seven. And you can start solving the sevens pretty quickly. Uh, you probably notice, you know, that can be a seven. And then here's a seven right here. There's a seven right here. And you get all the sevens knocked out. Uh, you probably saw that also the starting grid was empty. And so really the, the trick of this puzzle is being able to kind of get in here and start solving this, this middle block five. Uh, so I have started. I was focusing more on the outside and trying to find some easy digits and numbers to go. Uh, the next number that you can look at and start solving would be the threes. If you see this three and this three, it shows that these threes create a pointing pair of threes. So the threes are limited uh, to column two. They're limited up here in block one. And so this three pointing pair plus this three and that three means this has to be a three, which means this would be a three. And then I can make that solve for this one and that three right there. And you can have a three right there. And I, I did appreciate this grid. I did appreciate the engine and realize people do make these puzzles. These are handmade Sudokus they use for competition and they hand out prizes. So these setters really try to make something, you know, not too difficult, but also kind of ingenious and, and neat and fun to solve. And I felt like this had a really good flow as far as puzzles go. So let's look at the sixes. Six going up column eight in row two means that has to be a six, which means this is a six. And then uh, the other thing I noticed is like this 6, 8 right here and this 6, 8 right here means the 6s and 8s are limited to two spots down here in block 7. So there's a 6, 8 right there. And you can make that other thing too. Um, let's look at what else? 9, 9. Now since this has to be a 6, 8, you can actually solve that for a 9. And you can solve this for a 9 which creates a four five right here. And so there's a lot of like little hidden and naked pairs going on. Uh, nine, nine, and this nine cutting across so they can solve that for a nine, which creates a two spots for nine there. Remember that scenario notation? Only two spots remaining in theoretical grid. You mark that. Helps with puzzle solving for puzzles like this one. And then look right here. Everything's filled out except for these two spots. So it has to be an eight, nine naked pair. And so I noticed this you see how the nines are limited to the same two columns in blocks two and five so this little x-wing here uh, is very key once you see this you can make some solving pretty quick in the other block in this band so you see you know the nines are limited to columns four and six here so that means the nine has to be here it's got to be one of these two spots in block eight right and you see there's a nine there so we know this right here has to be the nine and we can solve for that right away. And I remember being able to spot that, and I was pretty happy about it. Uh, being able to spot and, and solve that 9 pretty quick. This is going to be a 4-5 right there. Uh, you could go the other way, and you could have looked down column 5 and go, okay, 9 can't be there, 9 can't be there, 9 can't be there, 9 can't be there, and 9 can't be there. But that's a lot longer than what I just did. Uh, if you can look for those opportunities and find those solves, it will make it much quicker solve for you. Uh, now I'm looking here. You see how this one cuts across and one coming up. So these ones are a pointing pair, uh, which means there's only one spot left for a one up here in block one, which means only one spot left for a one right there. Nice. And I can finish off these ones right here. 
uh, but I can't do any more solving with the ones just yet. Okay, uh, you can see this four five four five. This is a six eight. So this also has to be a six eight. Um, can we do even more than that? Uh, not not this time. Uh, we do know this has got to be a four five. So we kind of follow on four five four five. And this right here has to be uh, a 2, right? Because a 2 couldn't be in any of these spots. It has to be right there. And so and it'll solve that for a 2 pretty easily. And then looking down here, and it looks like, um, you know, you kind of keep moving along with the, the grid here. 1, 3, 7, 9, 9, 9, 9. What's here? You can see how the 6... In the six cut across, you know, what are these three spots? This would be a two, four, and an eight. Uh, so you see how the eight can't be in that spot. So this is a pointing pair of eights. And so what that helps is the eights here, eights here means this has to be an eight. And then you see this is a two and a five. And you see there's your two right here. So this is your five, and that's your two. And then it's this five cutting down. You can call it like call, hitting this column, this, this shelf as you call it. So the one spot left for a five has got to be right there. Awesome. So we're able to solve that for a five. And now with this eight, you can solve this six, this for an eight, this for a six. And you create a lot more solving here. And this is a one, four, six, but we can't solve that yet. I'm not going to mark that down. But now with this eight coming across, this restricts us to a four, five, and eight. And what you'll notice too is See, the eights are restricted to these two spots down here in block eight. And they're also restricted to columns four and six in block two. So you have the same type of pattern that we had with the nines, but now with the eights. And what this means is that the eight has to be in column five here in block five. And you see there's an eight right there. So we can solve this spot right there immediately for an eight. See how that works? And it's, it's a really quick uh, way to kind of solve for these cells by, by seeing these kind of patterns as the value of Snyder notation. So 8, 8 here means this has to be an 8. And 8, 8, that's no longer an 8. So there's an 8. And now we have a full house situation. So we know we can solve that for a 4. And now we're going to be able to solve all these down here. So that's a 5, that's a 4, that's a 4, uh, that's a 5, that's a 4. And now we have a 5, 8 down here. Very nice. Okay, and we look up here where we're we missing. We're missing uh, five to six. You see, there's a five, so there's your six, and there's your five. Nice. And now you see the six right here. There's a four six here. So that's got to be your six. That's got to be your four. Now we have another full house. That's going to be a two. And then you can see there's another full house down here and also right here. So we, at, once you get through kind of initial phase, the rest of solving should go pretty quick. And I felt like this puzzle, I, I felt like I solved it maybe five to seven minutes total, much quicker than my other solve. I was real happy with how well the solve went, because I felt like you can probably see, it seems to kind of go into place here. So I remember this was a one, four, six, that's a four and a six, so that has to be a one right there. And then a one and a one, you can solve that for a one pretty quickly. And you see this is a four, six right here, there's your six, six there, four there, and then the four and the four, I see a four come down, so that has to be a four, and we just displace that nine so that has to be your nine all right and moving along what do we have over here two and a three can't solve that yet what we have right here looks like two and a three so actually if you're using that three you can go two three two really quick and then you go over here and you're missing a three and a five and so that three is going to play double duty for us so that's five that's your three and now with this five we can go eight five nine and then the last digit is an eight so check out these other solving videos from uh, sudoku grand prix don't forget the buy me a coffee link hope you can support the channel thank you so much for watching